Hello and welcome back to the channel. As a student of architecture, have you ever wondered why is it that they are making you trace your works on the tracing paper even in 2023? I've also thought about that and this video is all about analyzing if we still need to be using tracing paper in 2023. Let's get into it. Let's start with an introduction of what the tracing paper is. You see, the main function of the tracing paper is so that new artisans can use the tracing paper to master the work of their tutors and their masters. You can use the tracing paper to replicate it and in doing that you'll be building skill, you'll be learning the discipline of the trade and also it helps for copying and layering uh, of other drawings. Architecture and engineering made use of the tracing paper in the industrial age, most importantly because it helps them to make copies of drawings and also to produce blueprints. But in our day and age, the use and the utility of tracing paper in architecture and engineering have been overshadowed by the use of large-scale printers or plotters that are able to produce large architectural drawings. So the question begs, why are we still making use of tracing in School of Architecture? So I'm going to try and build up some advantages here. So let's look at the first advantage. Let's say tracing paper will help you develop skill and discipline. By discipline, I mean it enables you to focus on the work and you know do some hard drawings as an architect. By skill, I mean it might it will help you to be careful while not to make mistakes and pay attention to details. Maybe in doing tracing, these are the skills you might develop as an architect and they would help you. What are the disadvantages of the tracing paper? The first obvious disadvantage of tracing paper is that tracing paper is no longer used the same way it's used in school as it is used in practice. So if you learn how to trace very well in school, that skill is almost non-existent in the practice of architecture today because technology has usurped that skill. So we, don't, we no longer need tracing pen or tracing papers to produce drawings. We only use tracing pen and papers most times tracing paper and pencils or as markers in most offices for iteration. So they have this tracing paper and you want to make comments on the drawing, you can lay the tracing paper on it and then make comments on it. And that in the final drawing, it's always almost going to be technology. Another disadvantage of the tracing paper is that it is time consuming. And then when it comes to accuracy, it is not very easy to change or to clean up mistakes while you are using your tracing paper. So many students are wondering, why are we going through all this stress of time and difficulty in changing our mistakes or correction? If you make a mistake on the tracing paper, you literally sometimes have to do the whole drawings all over again. And so if you compare this to maybe printing your works or making other form of presentation, then the use of the tracing paper is not very viable. Thirdly, under this advantage is that in terms of storage of drawings and transfer of drawings, the tracing paper is very, very outdated. Come to think of it, a lot of people can store drawings on their phones these days, on internet, on hard drives, on their computer systems, and in various formats. You can even print the drawings in much more uh, durable ink and thicker paper and store them instead of the tracing paper. So there is a disconnect now between the use of tracing paper in many schools of architecture and what is expected outside of the School of Architecture. This, I think, is the current case. So what is the way forward? I think if we are going to continue using tracing paper, then we must have to find a good use for it or use it the same way it's being used outside. I'm not advocating the architect should not be trained to draw. I think the architect, the pencil, and the paper will always be related throughout their practice. A lot of firms, like I mentioned earlier, still use tracing paper. They don't use it for producing their final works. It's mainly used in iteration these days. So we can actually employ that use of tracing paper the same way it's used outside into the school system. And then we should also begin to focus on producing students that are functional immediately they leave school, that don't need many more trainings after they leave school. Why am I saying this? We should be able to present our works in the same format that is required of us when we graduate from school. So my contribution will be that we should strike a balance between both. One is where students will be taught the process of design and iteration using all tools accessible. Students can iterate using their tracing paper, but at the final presentation, they should be able to also use some 
combination of both technology and hand-done works to make a very fantastic presentation. In many schools of architecture, we are pretending as if technology doesn't exist. Here, I think a lot of lecturers might be harboring is that ah, there is no longer discipline in the profession. These students need to learn to draw and work on the drawing table and stuff like that. But we that we are saying that, we don't even do that in our offices. So we should be able to train with the right technology and tools so that we can produce students that are of the same quality that we want them to be when they leave school. And then finally, I think both students, lecturers, and researchers should begin to look at the way architectural education is taught and how we can make improvement. I'm considering if it's possible that we can do a research on this issue of using tracing paper to produce final drawings and maybe submit it to bodies like ACON, ASU, or departmental heads and uh, boards of architecture to review how the uh, presentation of architectural design is done. The main reason is this. Many students nowadays don't even trace properly. They either print on the tracing sheets, one, or they print on normal paper and then pretend that they traced the drawings from uh, their pencil works. Meanwhile, they already printed the works. So they are working backwards and that is not right for education of a professional. The professional should be trained in such a way that they will be able to work honestly and professionally as they are expected to also. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Let me know what you think. And um, should we be considering that paper? And um, if, if we should, are you interested? So thanks for watching. I'll catch you in my next video. Peace. All right, if you've watched the video to this point, you owe me a like, a share, and a subscribe. Peace out.